ready to go? Oh. Trash. Trash truck. This is how we're living now. That is my studio uh, in the corner of my basement. You literally tape an iPhone to your tripod. Yeah. yeah. Prop this guy up a little bit here. Good thing I have so many Revzilla boxes. I have a selfie stick here, so I'll give you the quick walk around tour. There's only one other person I want you to meet. The store was gonna put him down, but we wanted to give him a better life, so. My salon has been closed. I haven't been able to get a haircut recently, and I'm slowly running out of hair product. That's him walking by. I don't want to talk right now because I'm embarrassed. Let me try to get out of my own way here. I can't point the camera. I'm having, I'm, it's like, it's everything's opposite. Luckily, it really only takes one tool. You just kind of, you, know, you start hitting on stuff, and then you can be done because you bought a different engine, you've thrown that in the bike, and it's great. A mini bike is just like a motorcycle, but smaller. Let me clean the lens. All right. Okay, post team. Kicking things off, Revzilla work from home video. I'm not used to being able to talk until Spencer, my director, has said action because he spent literally years training me to not jump the gun. But Spencer isn't here, so I gotta say it for myself. Action! So I'm Spurge. I'm Joe. Ari here. I'm Brandon, one of your hosts with Revzilla. Welcome to my garage, everybody. Very glamorous that it is. And I'm shooting in my garage in South Jersey. Coming at you from my home garage in Long Beach, California on uh, what is the fourth week of work from home quarantine business? You get haircuts. I'm starting to look like Spurgeon Dunbar. I'm coming to you mostly from my basement garage here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. More specifically, the Hills of Mania. I'm based out of Philadelphia. The fact that I even have a garage is <laughs> nice to have. Some hosts, they rebuild engines in their own garage. T140V, a five-speed Bonneville motor. They relace wheels. Uh, I built a new set of wheels for it. They run businesses. My old shop sign. I don't really do that. I just hang up my gear, store my helmets. I clean my chain, check tire pressure. All I need is really this little corner of the garage. So you can see you've got my little helmet wall there. Way too many helmets. Then we've got the uh, KE100 there. Triumph Thruxton right there in the middle. That's my daily commuter. The KTM 300 XCW, which is what I utilize to race with all my hair scrambles. And then over here, we got a little workbench. That is a blown 300 XCW engine. Blew the crank seal there. This is where I spend a lot of my time, and it's really nice to be able to wrench inside the garage. This is the garage, which is full of projects and motorcycles at the moment. You can come in, and you come right into the basement, and this is where I've got the lift, I've got my workbench, uh, toolbox, and then other projects. And that's a, a Dyson vacuum cleaner that my mom got me. Thanks, Mom. We'll start at the beginning. My big air compressor, my tire machine, bolt bin, inventory for tubes and stuff like that, my milling machine, my lathe, my two welders, my workbench, I got a 69 Triumph Bonneville that I'm doing up now, drill press, some more tools, a couple spinning tools, my paint cabinet and stuff, all the solvents and everything is in there. My poor KTM that is uh, missing out on all the races that had just been canceled and everything. That big pile of crap right there actually goes with the Bonneville that's on the workbench. And that big thing in the corner with the two holes in it is my glass cabinet. That's the, uh, the quickie tour of Josito's Garage, which is now the Revzilla Studio. Being in my garage alone with the camera on is definitely weird. This is the new world we're working with here, people. I'm a 40 year old grease monkey guy. Selfie sticks and, and this kind of stuff is, is very awkward for me. I'm not getting any feedback from my wetsuit or the washer dryer. And I said, that was my foot. <laughs> Anybody? None of this, none of this material's working. I can see myself now and the way my mouth is moving. It's always just really cringy, but I know Spurgeon's having a great time. I've never met anyone in my life who loves filming themselves more than Spurgeon does. Well, I grew up in a house with a mother who was a, a photographer. So I was always on a stage from a young age. So my brothers and I would be in the middle of a fight and my mom would pull the camera out and all three of us would just stop. We'd mug for the camera and she'd put the camera away and we'd go right back to fighting. I guess that means that I'm pretty comfortable staring at a, uh, a cell phone in my basement. Pretend that little camera lens is your friend and tell him a thing or two. <laughs> So I guess this, I'm used to it. I understand it's for the greater good. I wanna share uh, uh, my experience with you folks. We're just shooting from the hip, literally with a selfie stick and making it happen. Making video content while on quarantine has proved very, very challenging. I mean, like you guys, we are all being asked to stay at home 
and go out as little as possible. Luckily, we've found some creative ways and we're continuing to put out some content for you guys, even though there's a lot working against us right now. I'm still having fun and figuring things out and I've got some new content headed your way. All things considered, I've been able to create content from my garage. I've gotten to engage with our audience in the comments section, which just helps everything to feel more normal. The reason anyone watches me make a video is that I'm doing something interesting. I need to get on a motorcycle and do a wheelie so that people can be like, hey, that's cool. Does it do wheelies better than that other bike? And then I can be like, yes, it does or no, it doesn't. And now you have some information and we all had a good time. But instead I'm just um, in my garage listening to people drive by. Being a motorcyclist during this time is great when you have a project bike. I mean, I bought this Versus two years ago and had intended to change the gearing, had intended to bleed the brakes, had intended to check the valves and upgrade the suspension. And I just didn't have any time to do it. But now I do. Today, I'm gonna to replace the kill switch in my Yamaha. It fires up and doesn't wanna stop. It's just so excited to run. I'm doing chain and sprockets. I'm going to make the gearing taller so that the RPM while I'm cruising are lower. I have this project. We got fresh oil. Look at that, nice clean oil. You'll notice that uh, it's missing the pushrod tubes and the pushrods and the tappets. And then if you look over here, it's missing the rocker shafts too. So whoever rebuilt it forgot to put a bunch of parts back in it. And guys, check this out. I mean, I am very much looking forward to spending some quality time with this. Hello, that is a Banshee motor and a YZF R3. Hoping to race this thing at Sonoma in a couple months. I'm really excited for things to get back to normal and really looking forward to going out to eat. <laughs> No dishes to do, just enjoying other people's company. There are a lot of things I am looking forward to doing once this health crisis is over. Hanging out with my friends, going out to eat dinner again, um, going to the gym. My whole world is, is motorcycles, so it definitely impacts me a lot not being able to go places. I'm very fortunate to have coworkers who are also some of my closest friends. And while not having to put on pants on a Friday has been great, it'll be nice to be able to go in and have a morning cup of coffee and talk with folks around the office and make plans to go out for a beer after work or a ride for the weekend. The auditory analogy of how I feel and what I can't wait for, I'll give you right now. Never get tired of that. 11 years now and going strong. I am really looking forward to getting back into the groove where uh, we're kicking out some really high level content. But also, of course, riding motorcycles and recording. I think we have so much pent up creative energy that we're just so excited to release on the world so that we can bring you guys videos because it's something I love doing and it's something that's been especially challenging recently. So it just makes me that much more excited and motivated to do it once we're able to get out there.